Hey everybody, Edwin here, and I'm back once again with another Swords of Northshire review. Now, if you'll remember in our last video, uh, we talked about my awesome custom Rainbow Dash Katana. And I told you that in the making of that sword, there are a variety of different steels that can be chosen. And I said that I would show you a couple of the other different steels, the ones that I can afford, actually. And I thought I would start at the base, and I also said it would be pony-themed, and that is definitely what this sword is all about. This is the Applejack Katana. Now, we had um, us, uh, me and Runer put this sword together ourselves on, uh, on our computers. We used the Swords of Northshire catalog, which you can request from them, um, and they will email to you. And you can go through and look through all the different op um, options to uh, make this sword. Now, as you can see, we went with a hardwood sheath. We went with a nice brown segeo. We have a nice golden yellow ito and a red same or ray skin. And personally, I've never had either of these two colors, the red or the yellow, in any of my swords. So for me, that was kind of a giddy thing to have a sword that just has those colors because that's a, that's a new one on me. You don't see many swords of a good quality that have such vibrant colors. It's usually brown and black or brown and white, black and white, black and black. So this was nice. It's not to say that there aren't swords out there that have those nice colors. I just don't see many of them often. And as, let me get the blade out here. Now what I liked about this one is the sheath itself is actually quite heavy. It's actually a heavier wood than the blue sheath from uh, my Rainbow Dash sword. Very sturdy. And this one holds the sword in very, very securely. I actually think it holds in better than the Rainbow Dash sword does. So that was a nice plus. Very beautiful. Now, the sword itself. This is 1060 carbon steel. Very nice steel for the, for the price range of about $189. This will be your base price for any sword you get from them. And you can see we went with a Tonto style blade. We wanted to change the blade shape up a bit to show you guys some of the different varieties of uh, blade styles that you can choose from. Now, as opposed to my Dashi Katana, this sword has a full length bohi or blood groove. I and mean, this is to help lighten the, the blade when you're using it. Now, can you, uh, you got a good view of that? Yep. Now you see here, once again, we went with the custom engraving and right here we've got the kanji for honesty for Applejack, of course. And on the other side here, we have um, Applejack's cutie mark. Now this is a real, you know, basic engraving. They told me when they engraved it into the steel, it was going to be black. That's okay. Every, every level of steel, when you are digging into it, you know, with any kind of machining, how it's going to look underneath the paw surface will probably be a little different. And for this, this is all right because it's a pretty basic design. And I'm pretty happy with it, as you can see. We chose the furniture on this to look a little different. This is a uh, hibaki here is uh, the traditional brass rather than the nice uh, silver of the dashi sword. And all the furniture on it is pretty cool. Now, what I really like is the tsuba. Me and Runer were going through looking at all the different choices for a tsuba or handguard. And we went with this. Now I'll give Runer a second to focus it in there. That was pretty cool. I can't believe that this one was a... A choice here, you know, trying to make a horse themed sword turned out to be a lot easier than we thought. <laughs> and it's a, it's a very heavy, sturdy fitting. Now, one thing I would like to point out is if you do get the catalog, you'll notice that they have doubles of the uh, tsubas. But the price might be a little different for them because some are made of uh, brass and others are made of alloy and that will affect the weight and the durability of the metal itself. So that's something to take into account. And if you're not sure which is which, just give them uh, at Swords of North Northshire a quick little email and they'll be happy to tell you which is which. Now, the furniture on this one is also different. And, of course, the pommel. One well, with a nice simple pommel because Applejack's a pretty simple country pony. So we kept this one looking pretty, pretty practical all the way around. This is definitely function over form. But this is just to show how diverse you can make your sword look. And I was really, really um, uh, impressed by it. Just, just the variety was, was fun. Just to go through with Runer and 
we pass a couple of ideas back and forth on the different blade styles. And that is something we're definitely going to continue doing, is having different blade shapes here. That was just really, really fun, because I don't see many uh, Tonto-style katanas at a good price. They're usually in the $50 range, $60, and usually it's associated more with, like, the ninja sword or the Tonto-style dagger. Now, one thing I would like to point out is that this angular Tonto, this is not a traditional Japanese Tonto point. This is more what I've heard called an American Tonto, and... I just thought that was a neat little snippet of information, but one thing it definitely does, this will improve any thrusts you want to make with the sword. And it's got a double edge here, right here, and of course your regular tip here. So double tips, I said double edge, double tip. And this will definitely bite into something a lot more than just the traditional, you know, curved tip of a traditional sword. So it's kind of neat to play around with the different concepts and whatnot. Now, our next video that we will be doing, we are going to show you a Wakazashi-style sword. That will probably be the, our Fluttershy sword. I think that's what we agreed on, right? Yeah. Yeah, next will be a Fluttershy sword. It will be a Wakazashi-style, and it will look obviously a lot different from this one. And after that, I'm thinking we'll either do Rarity or Princess Luna. I'm going to try to get all six swords of the main six made. That's going to be a bit of a challenge, especially for Pinkie Pie. I'm not sure how we're going to get that one done just yet. But with Season 9 come, you know, coming upon us, and that being the final season of My Little Pony, I definitely want to try and have all this done before the show goes. And Twilight Sparkle's sword will be the final sword. That'll be our send-off to uh, G4 and the, the sword line that we are making for it. But uh, that's all for this video. Not as long as the other ones I know. But we definitely wanted to show you this new this uh, blade style. Also, I wanted to point out we put a different kind of hamon on the sword. Now, I don't know if it's the quality of the steel itself, or if they just didn't do it. It's hard for me to tell. My eyes aren't that sharp. I'm, I'm legally blind, for those of you who know, or don't know, I should say. Um, we put a straight line hamon on this one, not the uh, irregular hamon that was on my dashi sword. Once again, it is etched on. It is not a true hamon. We are not going to see a true hamon until I can afford to get a clay-tempered blade. That is the only way you'll see an authentic hamon. But that does not diminish these etched ones at all. The etched ones at Swords of Northshire are the nicest I've seen, really. I've seen a lot of swords in my day. I've been collecting swords and knives for about 15 years now. Actually, 16 years. My God. 16 years. And Swords of Northshire has some of the finest etched hamons I've ever seen. They look natural in a way. They really do. So, I don't know if they forgot to put it in, or I just didn't notice when I was reviewing the sword. But I don't think there is one here. Or it could just be because it's a straight line hamon, and it's just going right here at this angular edge of the blade. You can't see it. But there is a hamon there, or there should be. That is why when you order these swords, always double check and make sure the blade is correct. One of the cool things that will happen when you order your custom sword is they will send you pictures ahead of time so you can see if the sword is done the way you want it to be. Now, next time when I have a sword made, I'll have someone with better, better vision than mine double check. But that was kind of my screw up. But overall, I'm very satisfied with this one. And this one is definitely going to be a place of honor in my collection right underneath Best Pony Sword. So now I've got Best Pony Sword and Background Pony Sword. But that's all for this video. And hope you all have fun collecting your own swords. Offend Osiris.